Do you or anyone else go through periods when you get a little stagnant and just unmotivated to chant or sit? I feel guilty and beat myself up sometimes. Yeah, we all do that. You know, everybody in their consciousness has what I call the backseat driver. It's the little checker that's always talking, right? I should do this. I shouldn't be doing that. I need to do more of this. Oh, I'm doing good and I'm doing bad. So I would say, I mean, first step is uh, don't worry about that chatter. That little checker has one job and that job is to check. But our problem is, we put our energy into that little checker. Then we suffer. <laughs> we beat ourselves up. Or that checker is checking something else or somebody else. And we put that, again, the energy into that chatter. So our meditation practice first means putting our energy into this moment. What's happening right now? So right now I'm sitting here responding to your question. If I put my energy into the sound of the cars outside or putting the energy into the mess my daughter made into this room, <laughs> I will not be able to connect with anybody in this chat. I may be shaking my head. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Yep. Yep. So first step. Put your energy into what's happening right now in this moment. So that also can help us with our practice and motivation. But yeah, everybody goes through a period of time, everybody who practices, where they, they don't feel inspired or they feel stagnant, right? That's a part of the human condition. You start a new job. It's very exciting. Then a few years go by. Eh, do I have to go? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that you just got into that relationship and the energy is really intense. And then it's some days like, yeah, right. So always we see this kind of pattern, this conditioning. That's part of being a human being. So not important. But what I think most important is finding motivation through our intention. Why? Do you practice meditation? Why get up early and do it? What's the point of all this? In fact, why even get up at all? Why live life, right? These are big questions. And for me, when I'm finding myself low energy or stagnant in practice, I come back to intention, the reason why I started. Now, I, I have to say that maybe my reasonings have changed over time. When I first started practicing Zen meditation, I just wanted my suffering to go away. That's it. I could not function. Please go, leave. <laughs> but then I realized that, oh, interesting. Meditation's not about getting something or getting rid of something. It's about seeing it clearly for what it is, seeing the nature of everything that appears, digesting that. In that place, we can find wisdom, clarity, and strength. So I understand that about my mind. Anybody who's done a one-day retreat or three-day retreat understands this. Some sitting periods, oh, I wish this retreat would last forever. Some sitting periods, God, I can't wait for this retreat to end, <laughs> right? So you see, oh, that's that little checker. That's always blah, 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 blah. Don't put energy into that. So again, when I'm feeling stagnant, I look at the suffering of this world. I start turning on the news, looking at my neighbors, looking at my own life or my family. And seeing, wow, human beings are suffering. We don't understand ourselves. We don't understand why we're here. So we create a lot of problems a lot of problems for people, ourselves, and this planet. 
So then we remember, ah, so if you get some energy, you know, sometimes when people see what's happening in this world, they get sad or they start to experience fear. Some people have a lot of anger. Use that energy. It's just energy. It's not good or bad. It's part of being a human being. Use that energy to fuel your practice, to get you back on this cushion. That's what led Buddha to understand practice. He saw some things that really woke him up. When he saw those four things, right, the person who was sick, the old person, but mostly what hit his mind was the dead person. When he saw a dead person, <laughs> like right in front of him, he saw himself. This life is going to go away very quickly. We came into this world with nothing. We're going to gather a bunch of stuff, and we're going to leave with nothing. So what's the point of all of this? So that's all of that we can use to motivate us to get on the cushion. We know that if we want something out of our practice, we may not get it and we'll be dissatisfied. And if we do get some kind of special experience, soon it's going to disappear. Or we get it and we want more. So we know that grasping is not the way. That's not going to be... Uh, motivation for practice. In fact, most people stop practice because they're not getting what they want. So look at the root, look at the cause. What is this thing? 